Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to fix a crisis. This is a reenactment of the crisis because it happened last week. Work outside, hot, sweaty, parched. Uh, I'm just dying to get me something to drink. Nice and icy cold. I come in here. I got my gin, I got my tonic, I got me a glass. Go into the refrigerator over here to get ourselves some ice. And there's no freaking ice. No ice. No ice. Run to the store, grab bagged ice. After a couple cocktails, I decided it was time to figure out what's wrong with this refrigerator. I go online, I download the manual. They have the entire manual. They've got the user manual, the service manual. They've got the schematics for the electronics. They've got the drawings for the refrigerant. Very well done. And it was free. Got a Sub-Zero here. I know absolutely nothing about a Sub-Zero refrigerator. What I know about these refrigerators, you could stick to my eye and I wouldn't blink. So I read the menu. Got the ice maker. That's on off. We have ice max. You can tell it to make more ice than it normally does. You can set the temperature, cold or warmer. Uh, refrigerator, cold or warmer, pure air. This refrigerator has an air purification system that sucks all the gases out that uh, food releases while it is, I'm not gonna say rot, but let's just say aging. And the alarm on and off for the little bell and the power. And when you look up here, we got this one ice cube says that the ice maker is on. And when I looked in here that day, this ice cube was blinking, which that's an indication that there's something wrong. Uh, this is the alarm to tell you we got the dinging. Now it knows the door is open. That's why it's flashing. We've got the water filter alarm, which should not be illuminated. And then we have a flashing air filter alarm, which should not be illuminating either. So we've got multiple problems here. If you select max ice, it gives you more ice cubes. This refrigerator pauses 45 minutes in between each ice making cycle. But if you hit max ice, it overrides that and just continually makes ice for 24 hours until the drawer tells it it's full. We need to address the water filter and the air filter. With the flashing ice cube, the manual said to hold the alarm key for 15 seconds. All right, now we got clear fault codes. It only lasted a half hour and then the flashing ice cube came back. So I knew it was time to take action. When I went looking for the parts, I got a water filter, I got an air purifier. You can buy these individually or you can find them in a kit. And the reason why they come in a kit is the water filter will last you either 8,760 hours of elapsed time or 235 gallons, whichever happens first. The air purifier was a good for about 8,000 hours. So, you know, you'd be replacing these probably around the same time, unless you use a shit ton of water and you're gonna blaster these like crazy. I purchased them as a set. They were cheaper than buying them individually. And these are by Glacier. I, I always love to buy OEM parts, but I'm not sure this is gonna fix it. And the Sub-Zero parts were kind of pricey compared to these, and these are compatible. So if these work and fix the problem, the next round, I'll go ahead and get the OEM. Let's change these out. We got a little bit of maintenance to do to do this though. The air purifier is inside the refrigerator here. The water, fil the water filter is inside this top piece. There she is right there. We got coils. We're gonna clean those, get those all nice and clean. We're gonna put a new water filter in there, a new purifier, air purifier. We're gonna start by cleaning the outside. Now we'll do the inside. First thing we're gonna do is take this filter out of here to give us more room to get a vacuum cleaner in there. Just gonna put a rag down in here, just in case. And we're gonna turn and kind of pull and bada bing, bada boom. That came out easy, no muss, no fuss. Now we're just gonna give this in here a really nice cleaning, best we can.
Be careful not to mess up the fins. All right, those coils look brand new. Let's put the water filter in there. I did whip the O-rings with water before putting this baby in there. We're just gonna rotate it and you're gonna go in and like, turn it until it locks. Don't over tighten it and there you go. Water filter's in. Now that the new water filter's in, we're gonna reset it. Now that we changed the water filter, the water filter light is now extinguished. Let's do the pure air filter. I do have to say that Sub-Zero's engineering department gets a gold star. This is the new air filter relay assembly. It's Murphy proof. You can stick it in the hole this way. You can stick it in the hole this way. Doesn't matter. <laughs> they were thinking. We're gonna open up that pure air door. Pull to eject. Rattles just like the new one. Must be charcoal in there. We're going to take the new one. Stick it down in there. We'll silence that alarm just by pushing the little door button there. I don't want to drive everybody crazy. Just come over here, put an August date on August on that. We're going to close that back up. That's installed. Still got the blinking air alarm. We're going to press and hold that for five seconds. Our blinking stop. Fresh air is active, brand new, ready to go. Door's been open too long, so now we're getting the flashing bell with the alarm. We're done. All of the alarms are now off. We got an ice drawer full of ice. I think we're good. The parts I took out were Sub-Zero parts. Now I feel like I'm cheating on Sub-Zero. I'll, I'll put OEMs back in next time. That Sub-Zero is an awesome machine. That uh, pure air system, I've chopped up onions before, thrown them in a bowl, threw them in the refrigerator, forgot about them for a day or two until I saw them because I never smelled them. Chopped up in a bowl, uncovered, and that refrigerator did not smell like onion. So that pure air system works really, really well. That's not what it's designed for, but it works really, really well. Well, crisis averted. They got me an icy cold gin and tonic with some really icy ice cubes. Cheers. Ah, oh, that's so tasty. That no ice was terrible. Well, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Take care. See ya.